welcome to the Ventura Rock Spot. Each episode, we're going to be highlighting musicians in and around Ventura, California, as well as musicians who come here to play. We hope you enjoy. What a dark day, brightest valley, suddenly gone gray. Everybody's left in disarray. We aim to, to deliver a very authentic, uh, real, rootsy, raw music experience. You can find us online. Uh, there's a couple different places. We've got, uh, of course, Instagram, Brother Earl Sings. Uh, but our website is the best place to go, and that's www.brotherearlmusic.com. Brother Earl and the Cousins, we, uh, we really became a thing right after the Thomas fire came through the county. Um, Greg, Greg and, and Kidda and myself, we had jammed like once or twice just in, in, in uh, Greg's garage and, uh, and then the fire happened and um, he lives in Upper Ojai, Greg does. And so when that came through, there was a, there was a fundraiser up there and, and we played it really without knowing what we were doing yet. Um, it was a bunch of songs I had just done on my own acoustic and and uh, it really that was the snowball just kind of started going after that you know and ever since then we've been Brother Earl and the Cousins. Before it was just Brother Earl so now now I got a whole big family it's much better. Well um, like I said before, it was just Brother Earl before we started playing as a band, and so uh, um, I, when I started playing these songs, a lot of these songs live, and decided that was going to be a thing um, with this project, because of the personal nature of a lot of them, I, I, I just kind of made up a, an alter ego, really, you know, and at first, uh, you know, it was just going to be Goofy Brother Earl, but the second we got together, I think the cousins just made perfect sense, you know. Um, so, but yeah, it was, that's, it, it was really, at first it was just kind of a, really a mask for me to hide behind, to be honest. So. I'm Jeff Kitta, I'm the drummer, and I really like sushi, and I like getting that at Sushi Marina right here in Ventura. Oh, dang, good call, good call. It's a good one. My name is Brother Earl, and uh, my favorite food is, I gotta think about that. Right now, my favorite food is ramen, and I like to eat that at a place called Kagami in Camarillo. Camarillo, California, depending on where you're at. So good. 
<laughs> I'm going to go with him on one of these. My name is Greg Prince. I'm the bass player. And um, that's a tough one. I've got a, I've got a couple of different ones that I'm thinking of. That cheeseburger at George's Hoagie Shop in Santa Paula is not bad. Little plug in. And the fries are a must, absolutely. They're 100%. I'm gonna go with that. Spun around, squeeze it down, and now it don't. Honestly, I, one of the most fun gigs we ever played was not too long ago here downtown Ventura. Um, at least in my opinion, the sewer gig we played the other night. It was slightly, it, it was, it was amazing. We had a few people might have fallen onto the stage here and there, but uh, it was it. Any show, big or small, where the energy level, where people are, where you're all kind of feeling the same energy and you're all there together, whether it's us playing music or the people that are listening, the times when we are all in it together, those are, those are the best times, I, I, for me anyways, you know, and because I, I don't have to try, I don't have to try to, to uh, put on a show, I don't have to try to fake anything because it's real it's you know and, and so those are the times and that was that was a very real experience the other night here downtown and we've had a few others but that's the most recent I remember anyhow so yeah so maintenance required uh, was very aptly named I think because uh, well, because of who I am, but also just because of the, the project itself, the, the album itself was, uh, we did it very, very kind of loose EP on purpose. It was live almost completely, and, and we did it after, what, three months, four months playing together or something like that. Um, and so it was a super fun project, and it was encouraging for us to be together that short amount of time and, and come into the come into the studio with a bunch of original songs and be able to lay them down um, but we're very much now focusing on recording some new material and producing a little more not necessarily um, we're still recording live but we've had time now and we've been playing together for two years now almost uh, and so the the craftsmanship of the songs as a unit I think are, are, are gonna be um, just it's gonna there's gonna be a big difference I think between what we're about to release and what we did in the last and, and don't get me wrong we love the songs and we're happy but but I think uh, moving forward it's gonna be it's gonna be even better uh, as far as studio stuff goes so we're excited definitely I was very fortunate to be asked to come out and play. I'm just going acoustic. I wish I could bring all the guys, but like I said, we're all work. I should probably stay home and work, to be honest. But I, no, but uh, I'm going out there to play that, and I'm going to play a couple of just other small things while I'm there. But I'm excited to. Uh, um, I've not tested the waters out there yet, you know, geographically, anyways, um, and so. It's going to be fun. I'm excited about it, and hopefully next time we talk, I'm still smiling about the experience, right? We're playing the last song of the night, and it's one that I can barely keep up with anyway on a good day. And it turned into a runaway, and I couldn't get Jeff's attention to reel it in, and I almost had to just stop playing. <laughs> we, I couldn't hear the bass. We couldn't hear anything. That one, that one was probably the biggest meltdown I think we've ever had. I almost just set my bass down and just walked off and let him finish it. Halfway through the last song, he's like, I'm... Yeah, there's you know and honestly if you if you perform uh, every night there's something that could be a game changer if you let it be to be honest you know there's everybody plays one note wrong somehow or or almost trips and falls it's so it's always you know we're just trying to no matter what 
laugh anything off and remember why we're here like we said to begin with and that's just have a blast you know so we can have fun with the PA messing up or whatever else you know I'd say right now if I could play with anybody at all uh, I would love to get on I mean Chris Stapleton um, He's, 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 you know, one of the best songwriters, I think, out there right now. And, and uh, I look up to him a lot in the way he does, does his craft. So, yeah, what about you? Who would you want to have? Drive by truckers. I was going to say that, but I knew you needed to. I'd want to play with either uh, John Prine or Robert Earl Keane. Just make sure you're having a good time. That's pretty much the only reason why I do it. <laughs> it's like, this is my happy place when I get to come play with these guys, you know, and and as long as we keep it fun, I'm gonna keep doing it. So I I, I just quickly say I keep the sound honest. I think we, we do it we try to do that. We don't you know try to get too fancy and overdo it. So keep it honest, I'd say. Yeah. Um, the only advice anybody ever gave me as far as music was uh, similar to what, what Greg said, is just if you're not having fun, you shouldn't be doing it, you know? And um, that, that's, I think, any musician, I, I know any musician I've ever looked up to, it, if they're not having a blast, you sure as heck can't tell, you know? And, and so that's, that's the biggest thing, yeah. Thank you so much. That is very nice of you to clap upon us. We do like that.